For today's video, we are going to talk about the nature of roots of quadratic equations. The first thing that we're going to do to determine the nature of roots of quadratic equation is to find the value of the discriminant which is d equals b squared minus 4ac and the roots of quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers are real and unequal if the discriminant is greater than 0. If the discriminant is equal to 0, the roots are real and equal. If the discriminant is less than 0, the roots are imaginary and unequal. Moreover, if the discriminant is perfect square, the roots are rational. If d is not a perfect square, the roots of quadratic equation are irrational. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember to identify the nature of roots of quadratic equations. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first set of example, we are going to determine the nature of roots of each equation. On number 1, we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Since the given equation is already written in standard form, let us identify the values of a, b, and c. So the value of a, that is 1, b is negative 6, c is positive 9. And the formula for the discriminant, that is d, equals b squared minus 4ac. So let us have to check the values of a, b, and c. So the value of b is negative 6, so we are going to have negative 6 squared minus 4 times a, that is 1, and c is 9. Negative 6 squared, that is 36. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 9 is negative 36. And the value of the discriminant is 36 minus 36 is 0. Since the discriminant is equal to 0, the roots of x squared minus 6x plus 9 are real, equal, and rational. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. So let us identify the value of a, which is 1, b, that is 6, c is 5. And the formula for discriminant, that is d, equals b squared minus 4ac. So we are going to have b, that is 6, and then square, minus 4 times a, which is 1, and c, that is 5. 6 square, that is 36. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. So the value of the discriminant is 36 minus 20, that is 16. Since the discriminant is a perfect square, the roots of x squared plus 6x plus 5 are real, unequal, and rational and this will be our answer on example number three we have 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals 0 so the value of a that is 2 b that is negative 4 and c that is 5 and the formula for the discriminant that is d equals b squared minus 4 a c and the value of b that is negative 4 so we are going to have negative 4 square minus 4 times a that is 2 and c which is 5 negative 4 square that is 16 negative 4 times 2 that is negative 8 and negative 8 times 5 is negative 40 so the value of the discriminant that is 16 minus 40 that is negative 24 since the discriminant is less than 0 or it is a negative number Therefore, the roots of 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals 0 are imaginary and unequal. And this will be our answer. On number 4, we have 5x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. So let us have the value of a, that is 5b is negative 1 and c is negative 2 
And the formula for the discriminant is D equals B squared minus 4AC. The value of B is negative 1, so we are going to have negative 1, then square, minus 4 times A, that is 5, and C is negative 2. Negative 1 square, that is positive 1. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. And negative 20 times negative 2 is positive 40. So the discriminant is 1 plus 40, that is 41. Since the discriminant is greater than 0, but 41 is not a perfect square, therefore, the roots of 5x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0 are real, unequal, and irrational. And this will be our answer. On the second set of example, we are going to determine the value of k so that the indicated condition in each equation will be satisfied. On number 1, we have 3x squared plus 4x plus k equals 0. The roots are real and unequal. Since the roots are real and unequal, that means the discriminant is greater than 0. So the value of a is 3, b is 4, and c that is k and the formula for the discriminant that is d equals b squared minus 4 a c so let us have b that is 4 so we are going to have 4 square minus 4 times a that is 3 and c that is k since the roots are real and unequal we are going to have greater than 0 so let us have 4 square that is 16 Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 times k, that is negative 12k greater than 0. So let us move 16 on the other side of the inequality. This will be negative 12k greater than negative 16. So let us divide both sides by negative 12. Let us cancel this one. So let us have k. Since we have negative 16 divided by negative 12, it became positive, we are going to change the inequality symbol into less than. So we are going to have k less than 16 over 12. And 16 over 12 can be written as k less than 4 over 3 because they are divisible by 4. So the value of k is less than 4 over 3. And this will be our answer. So, if you want to check if our answer is correct, let us have a number less than 4 over 3. Let's say um, k is 1. 1 is less than 4 over 3. So, let us have the discriminant d equals p squared minus 4ac. So, we have b, that is 4, then square minus 4 times a, that is 3, and c is 1. 4 squared, that is 16, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 times 1 is negative 12, and 16 minus 12 is 4. Since the discriminant is greater than 0, that means the roots are real and unequal. So therefore, our answer is correct. On our last example, we have x squared plus kx minus 3x plus k equals 0. The roots are real and equal. So the first thing that we're going to do is to write the given equation as x squared and let us factor this one as quantity k minus 3 and then x plus k equals 0. Since the roots are real and equal, that means the discriminant is equal to 0. So the value of a is 1, b that is k minus 3, and c which is K. And the formula for the discriminant, that is D equals B squared minus 4AC. So let us have B, that is quantity K minus 3 squared minus 4 times A, which is 1, and C, which is K, and let us equate to 0. So we have a square of binomial, K multiplied by itself, that is K squared k multiplied by negative 3 is negative 3k times the constant 2, that is negative 6k. Negative 3 multiplied by itself is positive 9. 
negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times k is negative 4 k equals 0. So let us combine like terms. This will be k square negative 6k minus 4k is negative 10k plus 9 equals 0. So let us factor this one. The factors of k square that is k and k. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get 9. And if we add, we can get negative 10. And that is negative 9 and negative 1. Negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9. Negative 9 plus negative 1 is negative 10. So let us have k minus 9 equals 0 and k minus 1 equals 0. So let us move negative 9 and negative 1 on the other side of equation. This will be k equals 9 and k equals 1. So therefore, the values of k are 9 and 1. So if we want to check your answer, if it is correct, let us have this equation. This will be x squared plus quantity k minus 3x plus k equals 0. First, let us have 1. This will be k or x squared plus 1 minus 3, that's negative 2x plus 1 equals 0. Or you can write as x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. If you are going to find the discriminant of this one, this will be b squared minus 4ac, negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, which is also 1. This will be negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 1 is also negative 4. So the discriminant is 0, which is equal and real. Then let's have k, which is 9. So this will be x squared. I'm going to write on this side. And then 9 minus 3, that is 6x plus 9 equals 0. So we have b squared minus 4ac. So the value of b that is 6. So we are going to have 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, which is 9. 6 squared, that is 36. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 9 is negative 36. And 36 minus 36, that is 0, which is equal and real. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.